Hey friends, this is Wendy. Happy you're here with me today because I have a really cool card to show you. I am going to show you how to make BB-8 from Star Wars. So if you're not a Star Wars fan, that's okay because I'm not either. I actually don't get it. I don't get the phenomenon. I don't get the obsession. It's okay, but it's just not my gig. However, I am surrounded by Star Wars fanatics obsessors, weirdos, whatever. So this is sped up. We're going to use this layering circle framelits, the little star and the big star from wood crate and popcorn framelits. I'm using a one and a quarter inch circle punch, a one inch circle punch. This punch is retired. However, you can get the same size almost from the cookie cutter punch. And then I'm using the little bitty dots also that were, are meant to be the eyeballs from the cookie cutter punch. So we are going to get started and this video was like 25 minutes long and I really sped it up a lot because I wanted to be able to show you how to do this. So check this out. You're going to take the one inch circle punch because this is what you need to do to make one of the pieces. Punch and then go in with your one and a quarter inch circle punch and punch. This is going to give you these little frame pieces that you need and then you're also going to need a pumpkin pie one and a quarter inch circle punch. So I cannot take full credit for the idea of this because I went to Pinterest and I searched some ideas for making BB-8. However, I can take full credit for all the pieces that I put together to come up with the sizing. So um, I just looked at somebody else's picture and kind of went from there. This circle is from the, the Whisper White circle is from the Layering Circles Framelits and it is two and th three quarter inch circle. This is that one and a quarter inch circle punch that was the Whisper White in the center. And then this is the one inch circle punch in Whisper White. And I'm taking these little round pieces from the cookie cutter punch and adding them. This is Smoky Slate. So I'm gonna add them to the edges. Now you notice how they're sticking off the side. They're poking off the side. There's a reason for that. They are gonna get trimmed, but for now I'm just going to adhere them and let them stick off the side and I'm going to let this sit and dry a little bit before I start doing any trimming or cutting. So set that aside and let it dry and then I'm going to work on this piece. I've got my uh, I lied. I'm going to work on his head. Okay, so these are from the layering circle framelits and they are one and five eighths inch circles. So if you have something even close to that, that would work. I trimmed a little bit off the bottom of the circle and I'm going to layer it on top of the smoky slate circle. And then I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom of the smoky slate circle less than I trimmed off from the whisper white. So I have this little strip, if you will, of um, smoky slate sticking out from the bottom. Then we are going to build his face. So I've got the little black circle from the cookie cutter punch and it's gonna go right in the middle. I guess that's BB-8's eyeball, I'm not sure. And then I've got these pieces. There is no measurement on these, I just cut really narrow strips of pumpkin pie cardstock to go on the sides here and tearing it in half and I just use the nicely cut edge on the part that's going to be on his face and again you can see I'm just leaving stuff sticking off the side because I'm going to be able to trim away the excess when it dries so I'm not terribly concerned about um anything right now and I tried to slice a little piece off there and my whole cardstock bent so instead I just took my paper snips and trimmed it because I needed to make a little spot here at the bottom of his face where he's got kind of a gap in between the, the orange pieces. So I will say the only Star Wars movie that I've watched all the way through that I truly did enjoy was the first one that had BB-8 in it. Are there more? I don't even know. I've seen no other Star Wars movies. But the one, well, that's not true. I saw the very first Star Wars movie, which I have fallen asleep at three times. Yes, the very first one ever released, like, back in the 70s, I guess, was when it came out, or 80s, I don't know. Anyway, I 
I dozed off three different times trying to watch it. It's boring to me. I don't get it. And then this one um, with BB-8, I think it was it was maybe Rogue One, Star Wars Rogue One or something like that. I don't know. I went to the theater. It actually was mildly entertaining. And I did like BB-8. But the person that I had in mind while making this card was my uh, little cousin, Jake. So he's actually like my second or third cousin <laughs> removed. But he, um, I'm close to his parents, his mom. I grew up with her. And he has an obsession with Star Wars that is like none other. So I thought I would create a BB-8 card for him and send him a lovely happy birthday card. And I know he will appreciate it and enjoy it. And then here are those little pieces. Remember those pieces that we made at the very beginning of the video? So I'm cutting, I just cut them in half and then I'm adding glue to them. And again, having them stick off the edge. And you saw there um, on the little piece that I put in the center of bb 8 stomach, I trimmed off the excess on those to make them fit. So that's all I'm doing is letting stuff hang off the edge and then just kind of letting it dry and then trimming it to fit. I found that this was the best way to do this because, you know, it's just too hard to measure. I just eyeballed it. And so you can see here it works perfect. No problem. Trim, trim, trim. And then you have BB-8's face. Okay, so I also have stars and I have to mention to you, I have black glimmer paper here that I'm using. We don't sell that. So yay for me. <laughs> I, Stampin' Up! does not sell that anymore. It's retired. And I found it in uh, my stash of glimmer paper. I'm really bad about cleaning out my old papers and stuff. And so it was in there. So in my head, I thought, oh, well, this is fantastic. It must still be something that we use. Wrong. It's not. So BB-8 needs his little headband that goes across the top of his head and then some little pieces that are gonna stick up that are, I guess, like an antenna for him. So sorry, I'm getting a phone call. And um, I'll shut that off. And oh, perfect timing for the antenna. Totally sounded like an antenna sound, didn't it? Okay, so I'm adding these little pieces to stick up above his head. And um, super cute. And then I can wait for the other pieces to dry and I will be able to trim around his face. So, um, yeah, please don't leave me any nasty comments about not liking Star Wars. <laughs> I'm sorry if it offends you. I have literally had people like give me the stink eye, evil eye. I'm fairly certain want to cuss me out when I tell them I am not a Star Wars fan. And it's not personal. That's the thing, right? I, it's not personal. You can like what you like. I can like what I like. I just don't get it. It's not my gig. And I finally have felt like I can just embrace saying that because I lived in fear for so long. Fear of the Star Wars hater people that would hate me for not liking Star Wars. So yes, I impress people when I do have Star Wars knowledge in my family. So we had, there was something we were at and I saw this weird thing and I said, hey, that kind of looks like a TIE fighter. And literally they all looked at me and were like, good job. Like they were so proud that I knew what that was. And I only know it because I've been subjected to the Star Wars obsession. There you go. There is BB-8. I'm going to be adding the happy birthday sentiment at the bottom. You don't need to see me do that part. I am going to add some gel pen to whatever this is. I don't know if it's an eye because um, it looks better if you do. And I will also link to the person that I saw this on Pinterest from. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any of the supplies I shared, click in the description below the video. They're also listed on my blog. Only a few days left of celebration, people. Make sure you take advantage of the get free items with a $50 order. Click on either one of the videos you see here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.